What's going on everyone? Jeff here with Water Jug Fitness. And thank you for tuning in to Hard Gainers episode 12. Right now, I'm heading to lunch with my mama. She is in Cincinnati for the day. So, I thought I would go out to lunch with her and treat her to some lunch. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. Probably gonna eat Blaze pizza. If you guys aren't familiar with Blaze, it's like a build, it's like a Chipotle. You build your own pizza. So that's what we're doing right now. All right guys, I almost went to the gym without my water jug. But then I thought, you know, I could just use my shaker. I thought about it. I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym and just use my shaker. But then I was like, who am I without my water jug? Not water jug fitness. So I went to the store and had to get my water jug. I don't remember the last time I worked out without my water jug. Now all it needs is a beautiful sticker and it is ready for the gym. And I'll be ready for the gym. Let's go. I began today's workout with incline chest press. Now this is my working set. So I did four sets of seven to 10 reps at 185. I had you know, previous sets working up to this, but this is the working set. Again, 185, four sets, seven to 10 reps. Then I went into these dumbbell flies. They're a little bit different but give them a shot. Make sure you're squeezing with your chest. You will feel it. I use these to build up my chest and also get that pump. I really like them and everyone I've shown to do them in the gym that's asked me about them, they really like them as well. So again, give these a try and you will feel it. Then I immediately went into a drop set of the same type of thing but I grabbed 10 pound weights and then proceeded to do, again, about 12 to 15 reps. So the first set was seven to 10 reps. This set is 12 to 15, so four sets of that. Then I went into these close grip dumbbell presses on the flat bench. Give these a try again. Also, it's a workout that I don't do every time I, I hit chest, but they help to build up that chest. I'm using 75. Uh, you're probably not want to. You're probably not going to want to start out with that weight. Then I went on to a drop set and I hit 30s. So use a weight that's comfortable and that you feel it because again, it's easy to use your shoulders and arms, but you want to focus on hitting with your chest and getting that pump and that squeeze. So focus is everything. Then I went on to some actual cable flies. I have them set at about right below the pecs and I'm just coming forward again and it's all about squeezing and, and mentally focusing on that squeeze. I see a lot of people use a lot of arms, a lot of shoulders, but you just want to focus on the chest. And again, I know I say this all the time, focus, 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 but that's what it really is for me. That's what it comes down to. When you really focus on hitting that particular muscle, you will feel it. Then what I did was another drop set. I took off the actual grip so the, for your hands and I just used the cables and turned my wrist inward. Today was a lot about drop sets. I really wanted to get that pump, so that's what today's workout was. It was a lot of seven to 10 reps and then immediately into a drop set for 12 to 15 reps. That's how I feel like I get my best workouts. Then I went to a chest press machine again I hit four sets, seven to 10 reps with drop sets. I love those drop sets. If you guys aren't incorporating them, give them a try. And then here is the drop set. I focused on getting that full push out where when I was hitting the heavier weight, I wasn't getting the full extension, but here with these drop sets, I get full extension. So that was the focus. A little bit of a chest pump. It's getting bigger, guys. The hard gainer is growing. And this is my buddy, Sasha. He is repping a water jug fitness tank. I told him I was gonna film him if he's doing chest, so 
he's hitting 80 pounds for a incline press, but it's a slightly lower incline press. And uh, he's actually gained a lot of weight since I've met him, so he's making progress. That's what it's all about. Everyone is making progress. I love talking to these people in the gym. Then I finished off my workout with some incline dumbbell chest presses. So it wasn't about heavy weight, it was about light weight and making sure I get the uh, full range of motion. Then I grabbed 20s for a drop set, wrapped bands around my hand, and added a little bit of resistance. This is also very new, I haven't done those a lot, so give those a try. It's Honestly, I saw someone else do it and I thought, I wanna give those a try. So if you see people doing stuff in the gym and you've never tried it, give it a try once. And if it works for you, that's great. If you don't feel it, then you know don't continue to do it. Or maybe you're doing it with improper form and you need to ask the person who you saw it from. That's just my tips, that's how I learn. And then here is just me kind of giving a physique update as to where I'm at. You'll see a way in here in a few clips. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Got my post-workout shake and I'm gonna head home and eat my post-workout meal. All right, so it's time for that post-workout meal. Let me get, got some extra virgin olive oil here. And I'm gonna get the meal. So this meal is actually one of the meals in the new bulking meal prep video that I will be creating, or I'm creating it right now, but it's still being worked on. So we have eight ounces of chicken with some Frank's Red Hot, a cup and a third of brown rice. Then I have about a, two cups to a cup and a half of broccoli. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the stove, heat it up, and it's gonna taste much better. But again, this is one of the meals that's in the new bulking meal prep series that should be coming out in about a week to a week and a half. I'm pretty far along in the editing process, but those videos do take time because there are three of them. I don't wanna give a whole lot away, but I will give you the title of all three videos. It's gonna be bulking meal prep, 4,400 calories a day for less than $70 a week. So that is the running title of all three of the videos. Then obviously, you have three parts. Part one is gonna be the groceries, part two is prep and pack, and part three is feeding time. So, that is the series coming. I am super pumped for it actually. This series, these three videos, are going to be more popular than my most popular meal prep videos, which is the ultimate, what is it, the ultimate 4,000 calorie clean bulking meal plan series. These videos are gonna be more popular than that are my hopes. I'm putting a lot of work into them. Hopefully you guys like them. Again, that's coming out in about a week to a week and a half. So keep an eye out for that. But let's start heating up this meal and get to eating. He's flexing. <laughs> um, also, before I eat this, I actually need to do a weigh-in. So let's do that. 185.6. I'll take it. Not terrible. It's about 12 o'clock. I don't have cottage cheese, so I'm gonna go to plan B, which is casein protein. Let me show you what kind of casein protein I have. So I got the staple, the always delicious gold standard. It is, what kind of is it? Cookies and cream, I think? Yep, cookies and cream. That's the one I'm gonna go with. But I have these other two from Body Tech. I cannot drink them. It clumps up, it tastes terrible. So if you're looking for casein protein, I do not care for Body Tech. You might be okay with it because my roommate Alex, he drinks it and doesn't seem to have a problem with it, but I can't handle it, it tastes terrible. So again, I do the Optimum Nutrition, and I'll just do one scoop in about 10 to 12 ounces of water. I like my shakes watered down a little bit more, that's just me. And 
that is going to be my bedtime little snack. I'm watching Focus with Will Smith and some other girl. I don't know who she is, but it seems to be a pretty good movie. I'm watching that for a little bit, and then I need to start packing because they wanted me to go out to Texas for another week, so I will be in Texas on Sunday the 24th through Friday. Whoa. The dryer must have uneven clothes in it. Right now I'm doing a bunch of laundry as well. But I'll be in San Antonio Sunday the 24th through Friday. I will be hitting up the Lifetime Fitness. So please comment on if you're going to Lifetime Fitness in San Antonio, Texas. I think it's like the 14, no, I don't know what loop it is. It's one of those loops. It's right around there. Um, so let me know if you're going there and maybe we can meet up and get a workout in But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video on that note because again, like I said, I'm tired I'm just gonna finish up this movie have the shake Still get to packing and go to bed. Please let me know what you thought about this video feedback is always welcome And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed